It's Wednesday. Come on. You, you can't sleep in yet. You got to wait a few more days. It's Wednesday. Middle of the day. What happened? Well, somebody forgot to put the lights on us then. <laughs> It's, it's getting there. It's going to be dark. later in uh, the first Saturday in November. So. Yeah, right, right. right. Or, or no, 2 a.m. the Sunday morning. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Larry. 19 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is October 15th. You made it to the middle of the month. Well, I, I think at noon today it becomes the middle because there are 31 days in this month. Yeah, 30 <laughs> days past September. So you have to go 15 and a half days before you're at the halfway point. Uh-huh. Anyway, got a pretty good show planned for you this morning. 7.35, I have two things to debate a little bit or to talk about. And uh, I guess one is a lightweight debate and the other one is maybe a little bit heavier. Um, but the lightweight one is, let's see, Collier, okay. Collier County. Okay. Oh, where's my news? Collier, Collier County wants to do something about... The businesses that hire people to hold signs outside their business. Oh, gosh. I heard your news this morning. Now, you hold a sign outside of a business. <laughs> uh, yeah. You are uh, you are not necessarily in violation of a city ordinance or a county ordinance, I guess, in this case. Yeah. Uh, um, about having signs outside your business, which I never understood this. Why would you allow somebody to have a business and not allow them to have a sign? Exactly. So, the, okay, so the city ordinance some, in some cities, county ordinance in some counties says no signs. So in order to tell people that you're there, you hire a kid or a young person usually. Or uh, a 60-year-old. Uh, could be me. <laughs> That's right. Could be where I'm going I'll next. hold signs in front of businesses. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's an honest job. And, and, and the reason that's okay is because you have a right as an American citizen to freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. And that's technically what that falls into the category of. So I wanted to uh, tell you what they're saying down in Collier County as a way to kind of circumvent that without violating the Constitution. Oh. Kind of a, a, a ploy, I, I think. And I don't understand it because the businesses who they will be hurting are the ones who don't want them to change it. They, they like the idea that these guys out there spinning signs. Exactly, and they pay city and county taxes, so they, uh, they, they make money from yeah. the businesses. Yeah, so I well, like the sign Lost people. my train of thought there. But, but anyway, so um, we'll talk about that, debate that ourselves. And then um, Adrian Wiley, the uh, libertarian candidate for governor of Florida, was told by the judge who was looking into his lawsuit to get him included into the the last two uh, debates between Charlie Crist and, and Governor Rick Scott. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be up there, too. He's got 14.5% support right now, and uh, with a margin of error, he's still now he's way over the 15% that's required. Anyway, so the judge told him, no, nah, you can't do it. Yeah. And, and I thought, well, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, isn't it? He's on the ballot. So on his Facebook page, on Adrian Wiley's Facebook page, yes, he's on the ballot. And on Adrian Wiley's Facebook page, he says, I made a connection between Charlie Crist's money and the people organizing the debate. So I want to read to you what he wrote on his Facebook page. And then we'll discuss, I guess, I mean, if you're interested, we'll discuss Adrian Wiley and the inclusion. We sort of kind of have done this before. I sent him a note this morning asking him if he would come on and uh, talk about it. So hopefully he'll say yes. I, I, I asked the other two guys, by the way, too, a long time ago if they wanted to come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you asked them yeah. that during the primary. Yeah, they don't, you know. They, 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 pl they play by their out. rules. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, I, and I know if they called up, I guess we'd say yes to them. But mm -hmm. anyway, they play by their rules. What are you going to do? Yeah. You can't do anything. And, and so Adrian Wiley, I think, in my opinion, should be included in on the debates but as of this morning's news, he won't be, and uh, so I wanted to talk about that, plus the, the sign-holding people. Yeah. I don't have a problem with the sign-holding people. No. At, at all. There's nothing about that that e e even for one second is bothering me. So. Mm -mm. No, they're, they're clean. They, they look happy. They wave at you when you go by. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, it's an honorable job. Remember that guy that used to be with Liberty Tax? Oh and yeah, he's not there anymore. I guess he's not there anymore. But he was oh he was yeah he was an entertainer. Oh he was happy yeah. He, With the guy over there by the the cactus car wash. He used to be a guy in the corner over there. Oh yes yes that too. Oh yeah. man that guy was an entertainer too. Yeah that was pretty awesome. I mean it's a a, a job is what you make it. And All right uh, eight thirty like eight thirty five we more or less turn off our commentary and opinions and we read you the news. 
bite size. We abbreviate it and, and uh, gives you a chance to catch up on the news. Lois Brandt is coming out at 9.05. Lois is a children's fiction writer. His, I mean, her, her. Uh, stories have appeared in Highlights magazine. Remember Highlights? Highlights? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even know it still existed. Apparently, it still does. She uh, has written a book, and we I, I opened it this morning. We, it came in the mail yesterday. It's called Maddie's Fridge. It's yep. a children's picture book, and I think you will like it. Uh, Pat O'Connell coming on at 920. Pat is the executive vice president of Ameriprise Financial, going to speak about uh, retirement money. Mm-hmm. Uh, career source, Laura Burns will be here. You can't retire if you don't have something to retire from. <laughs> no. So she's going to be here. Uh, I believe she's bringing in, or well, we don't know who she's bringing no, in. No, I, I called her, left a voicemail for her, and we uh, we're waiting on her to call back. So, so anyway, she's really sweet and really nice and, and uh, brings to the show something really usable, mm -hmm. which is information about job openings. And um, usually they're, it's outstanding sometimes how... The, the, the wages that are paid at some of these jobs, the, the benefits of some of these jobs that she brings here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Jason Wright at 10.05. Jason is a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, he writes usually about pop culture and politics. That's kind of two different things, isn't it? Yeah, and he wrote uh, The Christmas Jar. Oh, The Christmas Jar. So obviously yep. he writes creatively. Mm -hmm. He writes for The Washington Times, The Chicago Tribune, Forbes magazine. Uh, he's featured in the 101 Best Opinion Editorials. He created a literary program dedicated to creative writing for middle school students. Anyway, he's written a book called The James Miracle. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is not a new book. No. I believe this is like the 10th year of this book, actually. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out what that is. Have you ever read it? No, I have not. Do we, we have it? We don't have it. Nope. 10 years it's nope. been around. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I didn't read it. No, please. Do you know how many years. books are out there? <laughs> how many books do we have to read just to do this job? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Matt asked me the other day, Matt Gibbs asked me, he said, do you actually read all those books? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I, I got to be honest. I don't read all of them. No. And in fact, I, I don't read all of most of them, but I do look at every single one of them. I know you read a lot of them, Robin. You read yeah, but you, you, you read it, and then you get the crux of it, and you understand it. Let me tell you something. Here's the truth about books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, authors, but this is just the truth. Many books are about the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Our challenge, really, is to find what's different about the same thing. Yes. You know, if you're writing about, you know, your opinion about the, the conspiracy theories, or whatever. Mm-hmm then guess what? We've probably read them all before. So somewhere in your book, we look for that one thing that is a little different than what other people have written. Yep. At least the way we see it. Uh, exactly. All right, all right. So that's enough of that. Legally Yours. Did I tell you that? This is the segment of the morning show at 1035 on Wednesdays. John Fuller hosts that segment. He does it so that he can answer your legal questions. Maybe you've got a, a, a legal conundrum that you're in. Mm -hmm. Yep. John is an attorney at the law firm of Fuller and Fuller. Alisa Violina, or Violina, I'm not really sure how you say her name. Uh, she's coming on at 11.05. She's a retired diet, I'm not retired. She's a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. I retired from my dietitian. <laughs> uh, easing the I fear of diabetes now. among the millennials. And those are the young people between the ages of 18 and 34. Yep. And then James Pinekofer is a child abuse consultant. He's written a book called Losing Patience, The Problems, Alarms, and Psychological Issues of Shaken Baby Syndrome. Yeah. Terrible. Awful. All right, well, and fun with Joe. Tuesday's fun with Joe. No one guessed haiku the theme. Today, it's the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't get five points, though. Now, today, that did was you, so clever. But did you realize I just told you about fun with Joe with a haiku? Yes, you did. So, again, it's haiku, haiku clues. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday the theme was haiku clues, mm -hmm. and uh, you got you would have got extra five extra points if you had guessed it, but nobody guessed it. No, I didn't have my mind in that <laughs> direction at all. So Very today, clever. So today it's more haiku clues <laughs> about TV shows and movies. Okay. Okay. So TV shows and movies are always the answer. Okay. And then on, on the second we do with Galen Unold, I had this prepared for yesterday, but we were um, involved in a d deep discussion about um, teaching our children, which is a very worthwhile discussion. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate everybody who participated, especially Galen. Uh, but today, the fun topic I had yesterday, famous celebrity quotes. Okay. Open foot, insert, 
I mean, open mouth, insert foot. Yeah. That was one of I almost did. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, what is that it? That's the whole morning, right? So, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. We're always here a long time. It's there, there was really one thing, nice. I, I love it here. And I think the one thing that stopped me is I was thinking of a foot and mouth thing. I, was, I think I'll save it for when Galen comes on. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I do that though, foot and mouth. I uh, let's see, a- anything real quickly in the news? Oh, the, you know the the sorcerer's apprentice hat that Mickey Mouse wore in that Fantasia movie. Yes. You know it's a big, it's like a centerpiece over at uh, the Hollywood theater, Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's n- it doesn't appear in the new brochure. Oh. So uh, wow. Disney won't say, but uh, there's speculation from Orlando Attractions magazine that they'll have a new centerpiece. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Steve Rappaport, a second worker at a Dallas hospital diagnosed with Ebola. The original man who flew from Liberia to Texas uh, with Ebola uh, passed away. Then, of course, you had a large team, some 76 people um, that were treating him while he's here. We had one nurse uh, that was officially diagnosed with Ebola over the weekend. Fox's Casey Stiegel in Dallas, the first worker to contract the virus from Thomas Duncan, is said to be in good condition. Coalition forces is stepping up attacks against ISIS militants in Syria. The U.S.-led coalition conducted 21 airstrikes along the Turkish border. U.S. fighter jets flying below the clouds because of rain. The strikes slowing ISIS, though the militants are still on the march inside Syria. And in Iraq, ISIS surrounded yet another town west of Baghdad with a military base. Fox is Ed Henry. Fox News. We report. You decide. On your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from FoxNews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts. And it's all free. Go to FoxNews2Go.mobi. That's Fox News, the number two, go.mobi. Some people would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never try are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Your home is safe. Or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. 
weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. It's a new talent. Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are on You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener, Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. We are the source, W-O-C-A. Thank you, Dan. 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. A little cloudy out there, but the rain, I think, is all to the east of us now. I went to the weather map on weather.com, and it looks like it's all to the east oh, of okay. us. If you follow that um, that line of, of clouds and you, and you keep going north, um, it's east of Georgia, but then it's inland. It's on land still up in the Carolinas, it looks like. And then it really gets nasty looking up around uh, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, uh, Pennsylvania. It looks like it's heading east to uh, the, the coast up there. I mean, that, this thing stretches all the way up into Canada. In fact, in Canada, it's huge. Wow. So this is, um, this is the storm you've been hearing about that has been causing problems in, uh, well, across the country, really. Yeah, it's and, sad. And it spared us in, in, a, in a great way. And in addition to sparing us... Uh, it ushers in some cooler temperatures. So if you like cooler temperatures in the month of October, I do. <laughs> then, <laughs> but, but they're not too cool. I mean, it looks like it's going to be like 80 degrees as a high. Maybe not today, but tomorrow. Or maybe today. I don't know. And then 64 as a low at night. That's not too bad. No. It's not too it's not, it's not too cold. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I like when the windows are open. Yeah. Feels good. All right. Uh, speaking of things getting cold, you can freeze your eggs now, ladies. Mm. Well, you've always been able to freeze your eggs. But if you're an employee of Facebook uh-huh. or Apple, mm-hmm. they have decided to pay to have lady employees have their eggs frozen. Okay. I don't mean the ones in the fridge. I wonder if that's covered in Ob- under Obamacare. <laughs> Facebook is already covering the procedure as part of its insurance benefits, while Apple plans to offer coverage starting in January. Oh, good for them. The practice allows women to put their fertility on hold so they can still have children later in life. Gosh. I like the natural way. I like, oh, whoa, yeah. whoa. I didn't know I was going to get pregnant. Okay, guess I got to deal with it. Yeah. I mean, this way, what you plan, and, and, and how long do you wait? How long would you wait? Really, Robin? Mm-hmm. If you were, let's say, a 25-year-old woman, and you say, oh, no, 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 it's too early for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or, or at what age would it be too early for you? I'm trying, trying to answer this as a young woman. If Let's say, okay, let's say you're 18. Okay. okay. That might yeah. be the age where you say 25. So w- at yeah. what age would you say, okay, I'm going to freeze my eggs until I'm what? Mm-hmm. Until what age? Uh, maybe 37. 37? <laughs> I was 23 when I first got pregnant with 37? And uh, I was happy waiting three years before I got pregnant and stuff, you know. 37. After marriage. But the, 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 the ladies today are waiting till they're in their 30s now, too. Mommy, how come you look pregnant. like everybody else's grandma? Yeah, exactly. That's what the children would say. Exactly. You'd, you'd be <laughs> so much older than the other yeah, moms. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, you just... Uh, you can't give a date as to you know where you feel that your life is going to be so perfect then you're going to have a child it's, life it's, is it's, never it's, perfect it's never perfect it becomes perfect by by imperfection that's the paradox yeah. and you have more energy when you're in your 20s ladies so i tell you what you can Man keep too. up with your kids when Man you're in your too. 20s <laughs> and 30s you're and running time, around the you know. playground exactly you're running you're climbing you're you're doing all sorts all of right. stuff. Well, anyway, I thought I'd tell no, you that. No, that's, 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 that's an individual choice. That's a thinker. It's, it's something I can't answer right off the cuff. But anyway, if you work for Apple or, or Facebook, mm-hmm. they will pay for it if you do want it done. I, I could see this being mm-hmm. very, very important to the lady who may be facing a, uh, what is it called again, the surgery that makes it impossible? Hysterectomy. Yeah. Yeah, if there's something oh, but medically then, wrong. Oh, but, okay. We'll see. Huh. This shows my ignorance. 
Well, yeah, but if you you have to be able to carry your child, right? So never mind. So you, yeah. Never mind. I don't. And what am I talking? I don't know what I'm talking. Surrogate thing, you know. All right. Uh, there's a ribbon cutting. I can handle this one. Good. I, I, just, I just went into terror. I just put my foot in my mouth. We'll talk more about foot and mouth when we have Galen on later. Yeah, on. but this is an interesting uh, a topic, so I'm going to think about this one too. Are you? Really? Yeah, I am because it's um, it's very interesting. Thirty-seven, huh? So well, you, that, you that, that seems to be the way the ladies are going now. But no, no, no. But this is for you, not the other ladies. This is you. 37. For myself, I wouldn't have waited till I was 37. Oh, okay. Well, I chose my early 20s. I chose. Okay. I wanted to wait a few years after after marriage so I could just still go out and, you know, do what I do, but Party. Yeah. <laughs> but but no, it's, you know, and, and then I and then all of a sudden there it was. It's like I was happy. There's and your life changed for the better, better, even though you probably would never would have said, "Oh gosh, we can't afford this." I would never say that. I, no, but some I, people, some people I, say I, that. I never said that. I was involved with my children from day one till, <laughs> you know, till now. And, you know, you I have should, to be there for your kids every day. I didn't realize this was going to be such a topic. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah. This is a fascinating to- topic, Larry, even even for us males. You want to have your sperm frozen? I, <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to just... Uh, let's not talk about that right now. Anyway... Um, <laughs> The, the first thing I, I wanted to say was, it seems like these people, these women who are, are brilliant enough and have enough drive and ambition and, and are obviously, you know, supremely talented to work at Apple or Facebook or something like that, mm-hmm. they're the, exactly the people that should be going out and having seven or eight babies so we can get, you know, their, their brains and their, their husband's brains, you know, in the gene pool. And I don't, you know, I don't mean to sound like an animal breeder, but do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, and there was a very interesting discussion on NPR yesterday about the declining birth rate in Europe and the stagnant birth rate in Japan. And in France, they are, the government is giving young couples money and other incentives to have children. So going along with what I said earlier, it seems like we need to encourage the best and the brightest among us in, in our, of our citizens to get out there and, and you know, Let's get some. Let's get some bright young people in, in the uh, in the system. So, I know that sounds cold and calculating, but it's just my opinion. Well, Mary. it should be cold. They're frozen, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, thank you, Pete. Appreciate that. It's a good perspective. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Maybe no more wars then. Maybe yes. you know. There'll be people with common sense and elected to government. <laughs> we found the secret to war. <laughs> That's right. Have sex, have babies. That's the end of war. Wasn't that the John Lennon thing? Make love, not war? Yeah, right, right. Make right. love, not war. <laughs> <laughs> babies. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air. Yeah, good morning, guys. Hey, Hugh. Say, so was Pete inclining that uh, these ladies should take an IQ test before they uh, donate? Yes. If they're cute, they can they can donate. <laughs> IQ. Sounds good. Thanks, good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. We went way off on something. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. <laughs> it's a fascinating. Uh, I didn't know, realize it was topic. going to be, but I guess it yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's thirty-seven. It's extremely huh? fascinating. Yeah, because I think thirty-seven is so it seems old like though. The women are doing now. I mean, it's yeah. not, it's not old. If it's not old, old, it's just. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I know many women have children when they're thirty-seven. I'm not yeah. saying it's old, mm-hmm. but I mean if you have a choice, you got to wait twenty years or well, nineteen years. Mm-hmm. If you're eighteen, you got to wait nineteen years. Yeah, that's a long time to be yeah. a, to be a mommy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I enjoyed it. I was twenty-three, and I you know. Do you, you tell know. your children that are born t- with stuff. with eggs that have been frozen for two decades? You know, <laughs> you could have been born in 1960. Yeah, can you imagine or that? Or two, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it the old-fashioned way. When it happens, it happens, and then you, you know, you have a loving, happy family because yeah. it's all about the children. You have to be with them every day. All right, I didn't tell you. Any of the stuff I want to tell you, but real, real quickly, if you want to call in on this, I'll, I'll try to squeeze in the Adrian Wiley yes. thing. And first, though, the, the sign holding thing. Okay. Yeah. Businesses in Florida within municipalities that prohibit roadside signs from their businesses, which mm-hmm. I've never understood. I know we have it here, too. 
Yeah. I know some of the businesses here in Ocala have said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wrap my vehicle, my van, with a big banner, basically, that, that advertises my business, and I'm going to park it in the parking lot. Yeah. You can't really rule against that. I don't understand the whole sign thing. So anyway, the way they get around this, and I can't blame the businesses. Well, yeah, you got it. They advertise. hire people to hold signs. I know you know this. And the way that does not violate, the reason that does not violate the city ordinance is because it can't. It would be unconstitutional to tell a person they can't hold a sign because it is a, is a form of freedom of expression. Right. You've got all those political speech. signs out there stuck in the grass. So, so the city of, well, not the city, but the county of Collier, Collier County, uh, here in Florida, wants their county commissioners to look at ways to perhaps redefine what is the public right of way and what is private property as a way to put an end to the sign holders. I oh, got to go to a break, geez. but I want to tell you more when we come back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, times of clouds and sun, warm and humid, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm around into this evening. The high today, 80 to 84. And partly cloudy tonight and becoming more comfortable. Low 50 at inland, 64 along the coast. Tonight, tomorrow is a nice sunny day with low humidity, the high 78 to 82. And for Friday, mostly sunny, high 78 to 82. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hey, it's Chrissy with Ocala Mac and PC Repair and Ocala Guest Wi-Fi to let you know we have you covered. We are the only local certified Apple and Microsoft computer company in Ocala. We are family owned and operated from mobile repair to wireless networks, viruses, new systems, or security cameras. We do it all. Check us out online, OcalaMacPC.com, or give us a call, 352-566-8324. Tell them Nick, Madison, or Mason sent you and get free diagnostic. Get your internet telephone service from the company that brought affordable internet service to Ocala in the first place. All is safe is a sister company of Ocala Guest Wi-Fi, a company you've known and trusted for all your internet needs. Whether you need a phone or hundreds, we've got the products and services to meet your needs both now and in the future. Our plans include everything from local and long-distance calling to equipment maintenance and even software upgrades. You can count on all is safe to give you cost certainty knowing that your bill will be the same next week, next month, or even next year. Call 352-450-8647 today. Tell them how to cut your monthly telephone bill up to 60%. I'm Major George Patterson from the Salvation Army. Please stop by our family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala, where on Wednesday you have a 50% off clothing and bric-a-brac. On Friday, 25% off furniture and large appliances. And on Saturday, stop by to our yard sale from 845 to 11. Donations can be made by calling 352-732-4469 and we'll pick it up. Funds from the store go toward the services that we provide in Marion County. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Talking about ourselves stimulates the brain the same way love, food, and cash do. Everybody's favorite subject is themselves. So, on a date, ask her about herself. Adults studying a new language learn words and phrases faster when they sing them. Normal, happy cows produce about 9 gallons of milk a day. But super relaxed and happy cows produce more than 10 gallons. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 137 WOCA. All right, thank you for tuning in. 12 minutes before 8 o'clock. <laughs> So many topics. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 I want to tell you about the. Uh, I do want to tell you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just share this with everybody. Robin, can you can you see the screen right here? Oh right. yeah, so, look at that. So there was a story about this rowing team, all female rowing team, <laughs> and they're trying to raise money for their rowing team by publishing a calendar. The calendar is photographs of them completely in black and white and completely naked Tastely for the most part. Done. Tastely for the most done. part. So I was. <laughs> I was telling Robin that the male mind is in, is a weird thing because I was looking at this photograph and I'm going to show it to you now, and you you see what I'm talking about oh, right there. Oh yeah, look at the. Oh yeah, <laughs> I see her. Yeah, that you're you're right. She's she's right. sexier than the other one. Right, so, no, no, she's not really. The, the audience has no idea what you're talking about. 
All right, so this was a news item because Facebook took their advertisement for this calendar off of Facebook saying it was pornographic. I guess everybody's got their own opinion of what pornography is. I mean, this is no different than what you would see in the Appleton Museum. Yes. Okay, and actually, actually, the Appleton, you see more. Exactly. These are black and white photographs of attractive young women, and they're naked. And I was saying to Rob, and you know, the funny thing is, the one that was more of a turn on for me. <laughs> I know this sounds creepy, but I'm just being, I'm just being honest with you. Is the coach? The coach is a lady now. Don't get. Don't, <laughs> yeah. Don't go thinking that. Okay. She's a hot chick. But but she's got a megaphone, and she's <laughs> and, and and they're running. So the, the other girls like are running. You. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven of them running. They're running. And you see them from the back, and they're running, and she's kind of in the foreground, and. And she's got like a, a sweatshirt on. Yeah. And it looks like no pants, right? Yeah. Either that are really tight yeah, pants. A short sweatshirt. No, no, she's got no pants. Anyway, so. <laughs> it's a great picture. I love it. If you want to see it, everything is on Google. <laughs> I found it that quickly because I was telling Robin about it. I didn't know where I saw it. I went to Google News. <laughs> And then I typed in nude charity oh, rowing calendar, <laughs> nude charity rolling calendar. Oh, and I put it in Facebook so that it would give me only one of them. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm all over the map today. All right. So getting back to the sign holding people in, in the businesses. Yes. So th just to recap, the businesses are quite frequently, and I don't know why, uh, allowing businesses to go into business, business, offering them licenses to do this, and then forbidding them from putting signs up to tell passers-by that they are there. Yeah, that's the most ridiculous. I don't understand this. So one of the solutions that the businesses have is to wrap a vehicle that belongs to the business with the business lo logo and all that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then just parking the van in the parking lot so everybody knows, oh, that's where that business is. Yeah. You know? And some people, and there's nothing illegal or against the code in that. It's not against the code. All right. There are other people, and you've seen this many, many times here in Ocala and everywhere, where they hire somebody to stand outside on the sidewalk and, and hold a sign. Mm -hmm. uh, the Cactus Car Wash does this, and there's yep. some very talented and entertaining people that hold those signs. Mm -hmm. Liberty Finance, what do you call it, tax. tax service, they do it. Yep. This is a very clever, creative way of putting people out there in... in uh, Blockers furniture. What do, you, what do you call them? Uh, Statue of Liberty costumes. Yes. yeah. Blockers yeah, block of furniture, furniture doesn't. Yeah, they have cool signs. All right, so so you have people standing in the... So now Collier County uh, commissioners are trying to figure out a way to stop this. And you can't really stop it because the Constitution guarantees freedom of speech, and that is a form of freedom of speech, holding a sign. You're allowed yep. to hold a sign. Yep. Uh, you can't post it. <laughs> you can't <laughs> put it into the ground. But you can hold it. So here's what they say... They are trying to look at as a way to make this go away, make the sign holders go away. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'd love to know who's complaining about the sign holders. Exactly. I have no problem with any of them. No, and you've got all those political signs but, out on but, public right away. But listen, to, uh, oh yes, yes, that's really bad. Yeah, you could put a, you could oh vote for me for the county commission so I can tell you you can't put a sign up for your business. Exactly. All right. Exactly. If you're in Marion County and you think I'm talking about you, I'm not. I'm talking about Collier County. If you're in Collier County, yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> All right, so because of problems with panhandlers, this is what they say. Sign holders are not supposed to do business in the right of way. That's their rules. Mm -hmm. And a special permit is required if you're going to do business on somebody else's private property. Okay. The key words there are somebody else's. Yeah. Somebody else's private property. In other words, if you and I were to go busking. Yes. Busking is a form of panhandling. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, busking is when you perform music or juggling or, or whatever, dance, for tips. Yep. And, and Robin and I did it to raise money for the Literacy Council. Yep. But if you do it in the on the private property storefront... Um, you are legal, even though that's not your private property. Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> technically, if you hire somebody to be there, then they are on your property, not somebody else's property. Yeah, and they're your Correct? employee. However, the guy who spins the sign on the, on the corner over by Cactus, um, he is not standing on private property. He's standing on, I guess you would call, 
the right of way, I guess. Yeah, public a sidewalk. The public. It's a sidewalk, right. but is it considered right of way? I guess. Anyway. So they are in Collier County looking at this because of that ruling that they made for the panhandlers. The commissioners want to come up with a way. Um, they want to review the existing sign code to see what needs to be modified. Uh, they want to put an end to the sign holders. Um, where's the exact wording? They're looking. Why is that bothering them? The Collier, Collier Board of County Commissioners is looking at defining what is the public right of way, and what is private property as a way to put an end to the sign holders. Sign holders. So if a sign holder can be on private property by paying, by getting a special permit, by getting a special permit, which you would assume has to be paid for, then the, the commissioners, this is my trying, I'm trying to play chess with these guys. I'm trying to guess what their next move is. Mm -hmm. The next move, if they pass this, would be to either make it cost prohibitive or... To deny everybody except mm -hmm. for their friends. Yeah. Which would be making it cost prohibitive because then you could always reduce the price. Exactly. Okay. So I don't know that I agree with any of that. I just think it's just nonsense. There's got to be something more important in Collier County <laughs> that needs to be addressed than the people holding signs so the businesses can stay in business. The businesses in Collier County are upset about this because they say that this absolutely increases business for them. Well, sure it does. The it practice of having better. somebody. Now, what is that by your place? A guy with yeah. a mattress sign, right? Yeah. It's a mattress store always advertising. Yeah, yeah, they're there. And, and the businesses pay city and county taxes. Thereby, they're paying the salaries of the city commissioners and the county commissioners and the mayor and all this. They're, they're paying all of that. For them to have a job to tell them so, they can't advertise their So what is, what is the conclusion here before we get to the Adrian Wiley story? Uh -huh. The conclusion is that some tutti frutti, in other words, somebody who's got, you know, an arrogant slant to their being. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> decided this was just not good for our, our county, our city, whatever it is. It's Collier County. Yeah. What, what city is in Collier County, do you I, know? I don't recall. But somebody down there made a made a, a stink out of this and said we got we we must this is obscene this is lowering the standards of our community <laughs> that is the most ridiculous well hello thing. i have a suggestion for you then mm -hmm. why don't you make it legal to have a sign yeah, exactly <laughs> Why don't you make it legal to have a sign advertising the business? That's right. My business is here. Stop in. We have, deals. by the way, certain ordinances in Ocala that do that same thing. They prohibit the signs. Mm -hmm. Nobody here, as far as I know, is complaining about the, the people with the signs yet. Yep. Not yet. Not as yet. As far as we know. But look, the business, first of all, probably pays more money to that guy holding a sign in the course of a year than he would for the, for the sign in the first place. That's right. So let them put up a sign. Exactly. What is, what is it? I mean, you... It's the most ridiculous thing you have, you have a You have a commercial district. That's the whole purpose of a commercial district. That's and the, right. And the, and the service to the, to the average citizen is, is enhanced because I'm driving down the road. I'm looking for the place that sells sewing machines or, or swimming pool supplies or, or air conditioners or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. and I can't find them. Right. Because I got to look for the number of the address. Exactly. And I don't have a GPS, so I don't have a little British lady telling me where to turn. <laughs> All right. I only have two minutes for this. I guess this next one isn't really debatable. Um, well, it is, but I think, yeah. you, I think we all agree on this one. Adrian Wiley is the libertarian candidate for governor of the state of Florida. He has 14 and a half and a half percent uh, of support according to the polls that we normally cite uh, and I'm just getting too late I don't want to look for the exact number but it was 14 and a half so he filed a lawsuit because he was uh, ex excluded from the debates with Governor Scott and, uh, and former Governor Charlie Crist yeah not fair he was excluded and um then he filed the lawsuit, and the judge ruled against him. The judge said, no, you can't be in the debates. Okay? Mm -hmm. He posted on his Facebook page this. this, is he, this is, these are his words. It appears that we have discovered the actual reason 
that the Florida Press Association has worked so hard to exclude me from the debate. We followed the money, and it linked Charlie Crist to the debate organizers. Today's federal court ruling changes nothing. We will continue to fight the political corruption. We will continue to fight to ensure our voices are heard. We will push ahead toward victory in this election. I sent him an, uh, what do you call it, a Facebook message, mm -hmm. and I invited him to come on this show so we could talk about it. Yes. My goodness, the time just goes by too fast. It does. All right, uh, we, we need to move forward. We'll, we'll take a, a little break, and Galen Unold will be up next, and we'll talk about putting your foot in your mouth, which I've already done, I think, twice this morning. <laughs> we'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. There's a new Ebola infection in the United States. A second person at Texas Health Presbyterian here in Dallas is reported to have a fever, and this person was immediately placed into isolation care and tested and came back with a positive response for Ebola. Health care workers have been closely monitored since it was learned one of their own became infected. Fox Radio's Evan Brown, that first infection, nurse Nina Pham. Her dog, meanwhile, has moved to an undisclosed location and is being monitored. Monitored for Ebola. There are veterinarians that are specialists in zoonotic diseases, which is the transmission of diseases from animal to people. Dallas City spokesperson Sana Syed. The president campaigning today in Connecticut for Governor Dano Malloy and the parents of Reva Steenkamp will not file a civil claim against Olympian Oscar Pistorius for killing their daughter. Fox News, we report, you decide. Fox News Early Prime, breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line. Your world with Neil Cavuto. That's how I do business. That's why I am business. Bold positions and brash opinions on the topics America is buzzing about. The five. How do you think this will set in with the American people? This will be the pulse of the nation. Washington insight and political know-how from the best in the Beltway. Special report with Brett Bay. The epicenter of the political world is here. The number one place for fair and balanced coverage. Fox News Channel. What's wrong with working hard to make our lives and our kids' lives better. Nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Your home is safe, or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. All right, three minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Gaitlin Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Centers to remind us of the importance of donating blood. Yesterday we found out that at the Christmas parade, 
that's where we will be broadcasting from is the Life South building. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's that's going to be fun. I always look forward to the Ocala Christmas parade. Yeah, me too. A lot of fun. Uh, this segment with Galen Unold and Life South is sponsored by Penn Flooring, providing quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Go visit their spacious showroom at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. It's right by that bridge that we call Governor's Bridge, the one that crosses the railroad tracks on 17th. And remember to tell them you heard about them here on WOCA and thank them for supporting Life South and the important m- mission that they are on. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are you all? How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Where are you right now? Where are you? Uh, I'm in Georgia. Atlanta? Nope. Outside of Georgia, and uh, I'm at a I'm at a Georgia hospital conference outside of Georgia. Outside, outside of Georgia, of Atlanta, I'm sorry. Oh, outside of I'm Atlanta. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Everything all right? Is it is it got to do with yeah. Ebola? No. Yeah. No. No, it doesn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> so you, yeah, I have a serious um, question related to what you do. Um, yesterday, a guy was talking to Robin and I. He was telling me his sister-in-law was it his sister-in-law? Yes. Uh, needs a bone marrow donor, but they don't. They can't find one because she's got a weird bone marrow type. And I said, mm-hmm. the way okay. I understand it is, we all have weird bone marrow types. Yeah, is that right? I mean, we're all very unique. That's why it's so hard to find a donor. Um. Yes. I mean, there. It, it, depending on your race, there is some difference. I mean, there. But but it's depending on your race really is the defining factor as to whether or not you can find a match. And just, oh, really? Um, Rare it is. And it's not necessarily rare. Um, it's just that there aren't that many people, um, there aren't that many minorities on the mayoral list. And so that's why it becomes rare. Oh, ah, okay. okay. It's not that they're not out there. It's just that they're not on the list. And that's why we try so hard to get a very diverse donor base. Well, let me tell you, if you are a minority or, or if you're not a minority, um, yeah. go, it's an easy thing to do. They, they swab the inside of your cheek. That's it. Yes, with a cotton swab. It. Four times. And now, if you're selected, what's the process? It's not. They don't okay. act, drill into you, right? What do they do? Well, they can. It, it all depends oh. on what the doctor wants. But oh. you can take it. It can be done a couple of different <laughs> ways. It can be done with um, it can be done through an apheresis process. Um, where what we do is they give you a, 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 they have you take a couple of pills and it releases the white blood cells out of your body. And they can do that. That's called TBSM. So that's just a shortcut for, or a big name for apheresis process. Or they can go through the hip or into the backbone. But that's pretty rare now. Oh, okay. Now, First now, of the time it's done for, via apheresis. And we do have a fun thing to talk about, and I do want to know what the blood supply is, the, the, the state of it is. But there is one more thing I want to ask you about. In yesterday's news, there was a story about the nurse who contracted Ebola in Dallas right. was, in, was listed in good condition. Her condition mm-hmm. improved greatly because a doctor or somebody else who had Ebola, who was cured, mm-hmm. gave her a blood transfusion of plasma from himself, and somehow that Correct. that that helped her. Sure. I guess the question. Well, I'm, I guess I want you to do two things: answer a simple question, and then maybe comment on it a little further. The simple question is this: Did she actually get better because of that, and did it cure her? Uh, yes, and yes, and and the reason what what happened is is just. The, the person who had already fought the disease had developed antibodies. And those antibodies were carried through the plasma within his body. And so by transfusing that blood to her from him, she therefore, uh, he therefore transfused those antibodies to him. So, yeah. Okay. So, so that sounds, is that a way to be, is that reproducible? And, or or he, he can only help one person. He can't help. No, I mean, he can, you know, it's one of those things that uh, it, you should be able to do that again. It's just not necessarily practical. I mean, they are working very hard at creating a uh, you know a, a, a cure for this. Yeah, right. um, and that will be a part of it. Sure. Okay. Well, and and if now, she thing, and, and I know a lot of people are panicking over Ebola, but the truth is, is last year fifty six thousand people died of the flu. One person has died of Ebola in the United States. So, yeah, but and, only one and, person has had it. That's that's like a hundred. No, 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 that's no. not true at all. How many? How many that's have not had true it? At all. How many have well, had it? I mean, there's there's a, there's about a granted there is about a seventy percent in Africa 
there's about a 70% survival rate. But in the United States, I think there's been over 10 people that have had it. 10 people. So, so 10% yeah. of the people died. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty high. Yeah. Well, that's why well, we're yeah, scared. I mean, that's I'm why we're scared. 10 people out of, it's not scared. I mean, it's... I, I, if one person out of ten, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just trying to make sense as to why people are panicking over it or, or worried about yeah. it. Yeah, right. Ten people out of three hundred million people. Got it. Right. And but the ten people who got of the ten people who got it, one person died. Yeah. Correct. So that's Correct. Ten percent of the people. And none of them. Con- there's only one person who's ever contracted while staying only in the United States. And that was because she was dealing directly yeah. with a patient. And they're trying to figure out exactly well, how that happened. It's in the news. All right. So before I know, but the, 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 yeah, and it's it's one of those things where it sounds, you know, and, and it, the news does that a lot. It dram- dram- dramatizes a lot of things, and this is just one of them. All right. So, um, so what's the the state of the blood supply right now? Anything we need to know? Uh, no, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we we need platelet donors. Um, that's that's the big thing right now. So. Yeah. When somebody donates platelets and somebody else receives those platelets, do they benefit from the antibodies of the donor? Sure. Well, they yeah. do. Uh, and, that, and that's why we try to do that's why we do a cross matching to make sure that those um, they don't hurt the the patient. Oh, okay. So it's it's that's that's the big thing. More than it helps, it doesn't hurt them. Wow. All right. So much stuff to know. If I asked you, here's the here's the fun part of our discussion. Are you ready? Have you ever put your foot in your mouth when you said something? You say, oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Can you think of an example? Every day, yeah, every day at between 8 and 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, I have, I have some famous celebrity uh, foot and mouth moments. I was, I was trying to well, think of... It seems like every time a vice president talks, right? No matter who the vice president I know. President is, Isn't that weird? It, it, it's... Uh, you know, I mean, when Biden asked that guy to get up, everybody just stand up, and he was in a wheelchair. And, right. Oh, <laughs> right. I mean, you know that you know that Joe Biden, whatever your political affiliation, you know that Joe Biden didn't know that guy was in a wheelchair. Right. 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 right? I mean, you know, and then there's the, the oh, there, there was one just yesterday. There was one just yesterday with Biden. He was he was oh, talking. He, he was here in Florida. He was pushing for Charlie Crist. And he was saying he's sick and tired of of um, the poor people not being treated right. And then somebody said, "Sir, you've been in office for six years." <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's right. <laughs> that is awesome. Exactly. So yeah, <laughs> I'm sick and tired. Vote for for Charlie Chris. Yeah. We need a Democrat in office. <laughs> that's awesome. That's right. Exactly. Uh, what is Charlie Chris today? Is he uh, is he still a Democrat today? <laughs> Rhetorical question. Well, I can't keep up. Yes. I can't keep up. I mean, yeah. it's just. Did you ever tell? Did you ever tell? He's, he's been every party. Let me ask you this: Have you ever said to a woman when you were younger, you were courting her? You know, I, I really love you for your mind, not your body. Is, have you ever said that? <laughs> I think I'm pro- I think every guy has probably said that at least once just to see if that actually works. <laughs> And she would say to you, you know, Susie, who's in our third period, is uh, quite the brain. (laughs) How come you're not going after her? (laughs) She's kind of (laughs) homely. Yeah. I don't know if that line's ever worked. (laughs) It's a crazy line. You know how hot you have to be in order for that line to work? You have to be like a supermodel. (laughs) Like Giselle. Uh, Here's one thing Michael Jackson said. Are you ready? The most yeah. loving thing to do is to share your bed with someone. That's what Michael Jackson said. <laughs> <laughs> there oh you my go. Gosh. Uh, I wonder if that works for him. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Lauper said, if you have intercourse, you run the risk of dying, and the ramifications of death are final. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brooke, Sh- up, Brooke Shields. You know, girls just want to have fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Brooke Shields said, smoking kills. If you're killed, you've lost an important part of your life. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it yeah, is true. You, you, that is a truism, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I quite get this one, but Paris Hilton is quoted here saying, everyone always says, take your top off. 
I'm sorry. No. They always want to get that money shot. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, but I'm not. I I can't argue with that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't she posed nude in Playboy like three times? Has she? I don't know. I think so. Well, she got that money shot. Yeah, that's right. Who gets the money? She does, right? Exactly. All right. uh, Mick Jagger said, I would rather be dead than singing Satisfaction when I'm 45. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. Well, he said it when he was 44. (laughs) And he's, what, 70 and he's still singing? (laughs) I think he's probably singing it today somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> he probably is, yeah. yeah. Um, Axel Rose said, it's really hard to maintain a one-on-one relationship if the other person is not going to allow me to be with other people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing, if you think about it, that's just good, that's just good <laughs> advice. I mean, cause first of all, Axel Rose, have you seen him lately? <laughs> no, <laughs> wow. no. Wow. He, he doesn't look good at all. Brian Gumble. Brian Gumble said, it's not that I dislike many people. It's just that I don't like many people. <laughs> I haven't heard Brian Gumbel's name in a long time. No. I like. I, I watch his show every day. He's got a show called Real oh, Sports does on he? HBO. Oh, okay. Does he do it with, with his brother? No. Oh. No. I don't even know if those two get along. Oh. I, I, I don't. I don't think they're. Uh, I, I like Brian Gumbel. I, I have for a long time. I did too. When when I used to watch him, I haven't seen him forever, but I didn't know he had a show. Oh, that's why he said the quote then. It's really one person that if he doesn't get along, he's the one person he's directing that at. Maybe, brother. maybe. All right, we need to take a little break, and uh, we'll be right back with Galen Unold and foot-in-mouth quotes from celebrities. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, times of clouds and sun, warm and humid, with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm around into this evening. The high today, 80 to 84. And partly cloudy tonight and becoming more comfortable. Low 50 at inland, 64 along the coast. Tonight, tomorrow is a nice sunny day with low humidity, the high 78 to 82. And for Friday, mostly sunny, high 78 to 82. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to sticker shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding was proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. All right, thank you for uh, staying tuned during the break. It dropped a, a degree in the last uh, half hour, 68 degrees now here at the uh, mall. Oh, my god! At the studios of WOCA. Galen is up in Atlanta. Let me see how the weather looks up there. We've the, the rain has passed us. Let's see if it's past Atlanta. Oh, yeah, it's past Atlanta already. Way past Atlanta. So you're, you're in the clear, Galen, with the weather. How's it? What is yeah, the weather we like? Drove in it. we drove in it last night for a little bit, but uh, we were even clear there. It's, it's going to be phenomenal today. Yeah. Um, in the 70s, it's going to be a very nice day. Nice day, yeah. Yeah. What city are you actually in? Not in Atlanta, but you're near. Uh, it's, I'm in a place called Greensboro, Alabama, uh, Greensboro, Georgia. Okay. Boy. Yeah. So did you ever put your foot in your mouth um, regarding, like, Georgia or, or like, somebody uh, else's yeah, I, I, home I, I, or their, I, um, their team or something like that? Yeah. Well, I was, at a, I was at a conference, and I think this was a while ago, and, I, you know, I, I guess I forgot where I was, and I said something about, like, uh, <laughs> you know, the only good thing about being Alabama is you're not in Mississippi or something. Oh. <laughs> it didn't go well. Oh, it no. It didn't go well at all. Looks like I, what... It's not like it wasn't true. It, it just, you know, they didn't appreciate it, I guess. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that we could all think of some, some time well, as much as I as much as I speak, I, you know... It, the more often you speak in public, the more often you have make it a mistake. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. So, yeah. yeah. Right, so here's here's another one from Kathleen Turner. Oh, I like her. Where are the when I'm is? really hot, I can walk into a room, and if a man does not look at me, he's probably gay. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think that's actually true. I mean, it probably is true. Well, yeah. where's the foot and mouth? I mean, who gets offended by that? Other women? I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know who gets offended by that. I think so. I think other women because they want to be her. Really? They want to look like her. Uh, when you say I committed adultery, are you stating before the marriage of 1996 or prior to? <laughs> That was said by again? that was said by Dallas Cowboys cornerback Deion Sanders. <laughs> he said, "When you say I committed adultery, are you stating before the marriage of 1996 or prior to?" Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. It means the same thing, Deion. Sounds like Deion. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of funny. That, that you got to remember these people aren't. Uh, you know, he went to Florida State. But, um, <laughs> NBA player Jason Kidd said, "We are going to turn this team around 360 degrees." <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I, that one, he, and he still, he probably to this day doesn't realize he made a mistake. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> why is that wrong? <laughs> it's wrong because it's because no, I know why it's wrong. Oh, okay. I'm saying he's wondering it. Yeah. I know why it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's full circle. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Charles Barkley said, listening to a woman is almost as bad as losing to one. There are only three things that women are better at than men. Cleaning, cooking, and having sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, that sounds like Barkley. <laughs> and again, as much speaking as he does, you know he's going to screw something up. He must be a voyeur. Good morning. You're on the air. <laughs> good morning, guys. Hi, you, Hugh. Say, how about President Clinton? I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> I, I don't know. What did he think? It was some kind of an indoor sport? That's right. Well, according, <laughs> according to an article that came out the other day, they were citing some kind of a obscure Jewish law that that would it would indeed support that belief. There's always justification, yeah, but he, but isn't he's there? he's not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think he was the first or black they. president. Though, so yeah, I'm that's so right. Sure. He was. So he that, could maybe it just means if you're circumcised. We know who would know that. Thank you. <laughs> that's right. Well, I, I figured that I was hoping nobody would get that joke that I just didn't go out there for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hugh. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Donald Trump said, you know, it really doesn't matter what the media write as long as you've got a young and beautiful butt. <laughs> and he's had a few, right? What? what? Those women. I know, I know. I'm, yeah, ju I'm just right? questioning him. Why would he say that? Oh. Don King said, he speaks English, Spanish, and he's bilingual too. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. So he's got that wild hair. John Madden said, from the waist down, Earl Campbell has the biggest legs I've ever seen on a running back. Okay, I don't yeah, know who that is. Nice job. John Madden or no, Earl, Campbell? Earl Campbell? He was a he was a running back for the uh, Houston Oilers. I think it's I think the key part of this from the waist down. From the waist down. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. You don't really need to know who <laughs> any of these people are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yogi Berra is on the list. He said predictions are difficult, especially about the future. <laughs> I don't know that's if that's exactly foot and mouth either, but that's funny because you you, you can't predict the past. Sure. <laughs> yes, you can. I can predict the past really well. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> That is great. <laughs> Joe, is it Joe Theismann? Theismann? How do you say his name? Joe yeah, Theismann. Theismann. He said... He it, he, he, it used to be Theismann, and then he wanted to try to win the Heisman when he was at oh. Notre Dame, so he changed it to, to Theismann. Sound For real? Like Heisman. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. He, he said, the word genius is not applicable in football. A genius is a guy like Norman Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Einstein. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Samuel Goldwyn, the movie guy, said, I don't think anybody should write his autobiography until after he's dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Vanna White. Vanna White said, I never get bored because there's always different puzzles. I'm wearing different clothes. There's different contestants. There's different prizes. <laughs> oh, gee, that's uh, wow. 
pretty, sir. Yeah, Van, I love you for your mind. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you she's smart. That was just one of those moments. She looks smart. Still. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'd tell Van just about anything she needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've made that clear on the show before. Yes, she did. Raquel Welch said, I was asked... Same thing, you, you know, at any age. <laughs> just, whatever, whatever Raquel Welch needs to hear. <laughs> she said, I was asked to come to Chicago because Chicago is one of the 52 states. Oh, Oh, oh. How many mistakes in there? Chicago is a, <laughs> First of all, yeah. is that a state and how many of them are there? <laughs> oh, yeah, By yeah. the way, that's when you do want to screw up. Yeah. Because, you know, where is, where is Puerto Rico and Guam? You know, where do they fall out in there? <laughs> yeah. And she's Brit- a cow. Britney Spears said, I get to go to lots of overseas places like Canada. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if you're coming uh, via uh, what from England, uh, no, like Michigan, you have to cross a, a lake. Oh, that's, that's right. pretty close. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Maybe from uh, New York. Yeah, giving her the benefit of the doubt. I guess I'm, I'm reaching. Here's another one from Brittany. She said, "I've never really wanted to go to Japan simply because I don't like eating fish, and I know that's very popular out there in Africa." That's good stuff. Christine Aguilera asked the question So, where is the Cannes Film Festival being held this year? Oh. Well, I don't know. Where is it going to be held this year? I'm going to say. <laughs> I, I, th- I think you're right, Galen. <laughs> I think you hit that on the head real quick. Here's another wow. one you would tell anything wow. to, Galen. Here's another one. Alicia <laughs> Silverstone. Am I right? Mm. I don't remember who she is. Oh, okay. Gosh. She really? played Batgirl in the Batman movies. Yeah, she just saw my time. Yeah. She said, I think that the film Clueless was very deep. I think it was deep in a way that it was very light. I think lightness has to come from a very deep place if it's true lightness. Yeah, she... Wow, uh, Buddha. Whatever. She was all over <laughs> the map. That existentialism. Uh, my yeah. shop. Confucius or Buddha or somebody. That was deep. <laughs> David, David Hasselhoff said, I've got taste. It's inbred in me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's why the Germans love him so much. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's their rocker. Uh, Keanu Reeves said, I cried over beauty, I cried over pain, and the other time I cried because I felt nothing. I can't help it. I'm just a cliche of myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jessica Simpson said, I'm not anorexic. I'm from Texas. Oh. <laughs> Well, there you go. That explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, another one from Jessica Simpson was, is this chicken or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it says chicken of the sea. Oh, no nice kidding. She re- oh, nice my job. God. Oh, my God. I can God. actually imagine that happening if you're like 12. <laughs> Oh, my God. There's not much difference between chicken salad and tuna salad. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I think gay marriage is something that should be between a man and a woman. Oh. Did he really? Yeah. Oh. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Dan Quayle, speaking of vice presidents, said, I love California. I grew up in Phoenix. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Yeah, that says it all. Ay, ay, ay. His words are haunting him forever. <laughs> That's not the worst thing he said. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. No, but gee. Uh, Tara Reed said, I'm sounding worse than Jessica Simpson right now. She's looking like a rock scientist. Oh, nice job. She's looking like a rock scientist. Uh, and then the last one is from George W. Nice Bush. Job. He said, rarely is the question asked, is our children learning? <laughs> It is. That's great. Of course, it's not really asked. It's incorrect. (laughs) Well, anyway, uh, Robin, we need a segue from foot and mouth statements to donating blood. 
Well, no matter how many people have a foot and mouth statements and they uh, say things off the cuff and they do regret that later, there is one thing that people say off the cuff that they will never regret, and it's donate blood so others will live. Go to Life South Community Blood Centers, donate one unit of blood, potentially save three lives, get on the bone marrow donor listing, and become an ambassador. It won't hurt. Yeah. It will help. That's beautiful. Thank uh, you, Rob. And I heard, I, I don't know if you heard me in the intro, we found out yesterday that we will be doing the the uh, Christmas parade from Life South. Yeah. Broadcast yeah, we're pretty live. excited about that. that uh, we're, we're, we're really honored to have you guys out there. And it's such a great day. And the whole the whole weekend is just really phenomenal. It starts off with a run and yeah. finishes with the largest outdoor parade in uh, yeah, yeah. A what? night parade, I guess, yeah. outside of Disney. So pretty it, is, cool. it is a really yeah. great parade. And what date is it this year? December uh, 13th? December 13th. 13th. December 1st? Well, no, what, they, second they, Saturday? Have, yep, second. Yep, they, they Saturday changed of, it to the second Saturday. Now it's December 13th. All right, we got half a minute. Oh, my goodness. There's the music. Galen, where's the blood mobile today? The blood mobile today is at the Walmart on uh, e, on uh, Easy Street. The Walmart on Easy right next door to the, the Paddock Mall. Yep. If you can't get yeah. there, go next door to the Cascades. That's where Life South is located. And if you can't get there in Denella, where would you go, Robin? Right next door to Wind Dixie. Wind well, Dixie. have fun and be careful up in Atlanta, Galen. All right, we'll do. Thank you guys. You and, guys are the best. And don't put your foot in your mouth, all right? No. Yeah, I'll try not to. I have <laughs> a lot of chances to. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. Bye, y'all. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. There's a new Ebola infection in the United States. The second person at Texas Health Presbyterian here. In-